doing a quick video here for Eric at EMC Productions. Uh, Eric, for those of you who don't follow him, is a fabulous musician, um, has some great content, and I wanted to thank him for his service as a Marine. But he did a remarkable mashup of almost a thousand, or maybe it was just over a thousand clips from some 300 plus YouTube videos that he all downloaded by hand. So I was hoping I could provide a little help as far as cutting the number of hours required to at least get the media in a state where you can start working with it. Um, there are two areas in particular where I know I can help, and those are with the bulk download of the YouTube items. Uh, Eric did a very smart thing and used, uh, I believe it's hashtag digital drumline project. So we can certainly grab all the videos that have that hashtag. And then the other thing is audio normalization. So what we can do is sort of between all those videos is sort of normalize the audio level so that nobody stands out as being super loud or doesn't come across in the, in the output. To do this, we're going to need a few pieces of software. Um, I tend to use Homebrew on my Mac, which is easily downloaded. I believe it's Homebrew. If you just search Homebrew OS 10. Yeah, it's brew.sh. So if you just follow the instructions here, you can do it. Um, if anybody has any questions or they need help installing the tooling or whatever, please leave a comment below. Let me know. I will do my best to help out. Um, so using Homebrew, then, you can install a piece of software called YouTube-DL, which, as the name suggests, is there to download from YouTube. But it also has a number of other features to download from other sites. Um, it's generally pretty good for grabbing videos on the web. Not everything, but a lot. And it will help you grab a number of different formats, or if you just want audio, whatever, you can grab all that. Um, FFmpeg is a Swiss Army knife for working with media files on the command line. You can also install that with Homebrew. JQ is, is a small program used for manipulating a data format called JSON. We just use it as a utility. You don't need to know much about it, but you do need it installed in order to run the stuff that I'm going to talk about today. And then finally, there's a Python script called FFmpeg Normalize, which uses FFmpeg to normalize audio levels. And you can install that on your Mac uh, by pip install FFmpeg-normalize. Um, I'm not going to delve deep into the details of installation here. I am going to talk a little bit about what I did in the results. So um, what I did, I'm not sure how I wound up in that folder, but I have an EMC folder here, and inside it, it has a few things. So one is it has a special YouTube config uh, YouTube DL config that I wrote. And what this does is this says, hey, if it's available, download me the best MP4. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know that Eric is using Final Cut Pro, and Final Cut Pro understands MP4, whereas it may not understand some of the other formats that you can download off YouTube. Um, in the event that YouTube DL can't get an MP4 file, it'll download the best quality file, and then down here, see, it'll recode it into an MP4. So we kind of have the best of all worlds. We'll download the best quality we possibly can. If it's not MP4, we'll make it an MP4. Um, then I've also got, this is a useful, this dash O line here. This is useful for saving your files where you want to and also naming them how you want. So in this case, I'm doing title, the video ID, so you can go back and look it up on YouTube, um, and then the user who uploaded it. Um, so all very useful formats. I know Eric was manually renaming his files. So anyway, I will leave the YouTube DL command to do this. Um, it occurs to me now, I forgot there's one more piece of software we're going to need called Parallel, which is also available uh, from Homebrew. So anyway, this is my raw folder that literally has the downloads as I got them. You can see they're all MP4s, and actually they come across as pretty well organized. One suggestion I might have is maybe have more than one hashtag for the future, so maybe Digital Drumline Project Snare, Digital Drumline Project Part A, whatever, um, for each different segment that you're expecting, and then have everybody do separate clips so you don't have to split these videos apart. Um, I noticed that watching a few of these, that some of them have two or three pieces in them, and so you'd have to manually go and, and slice. Um, I suppose it's not that big a deal because almost all the time you're going to have to do some slicing anyway, but just to avoid the amount of file handling you have to do and to make organization easier, it might make sense to have multiple hashtags. Um, so that's the raw stuff. So then what I would recommend doing is categorizing them in, into four categories. So I would do snare, tenor, bass, and then other. And an example of other would be like, I think this one here is actually the final, Eric's final output video here. Um, so I would put that in other because I don't care about it for processing. And then what the normalized file is, is just what I did is I ran the FFmpeg normalized script. In fact, it looks like it's still running. 
So I've got maybe 100 videos to go here. I've got 257 that have been processed. And to give you an idea, the entire download was well under half an hour. It was probably 20 minutes to download all 330-odd videos. And then the normalization process seems to be taking maybe, I don't know, 15 seconds of video or something. So that goes pretty quick. And then once you organize these, they should be all set for import into Final Cut Pro. I will leave the config file. Um, and the commands I ran in the description. As I said, if anybody has any questions, needs any help, thinks this is way over their head, please let me know. I'm doing this at a very high level on purpose um, because I've actually watched Eric work through things like installing the drumline software on his computer, and I know he's very patient and very good at this kind of thing. But uh, So I wanted to keep it high level on the theory that he can figure a lot of this stuff out. But for anybody else, or Eric if you're watching, please let me know if I can be of any assistance, and don't suffer in silence on this. Uh, more than happy to help. Um, really appreciate all the work that goes into your work, and hope that someone can get some value out of these uh, little tips to go quickly on downloading media. Thanks very much.